just don't believe what I just got. That's not it. It's a huge spike. Unfortunately, I didn't have the fortom. Uh, this uh, kind of uh, things, and uh, it got loose. So I'm going now it's spike ready. I think it, there is a railing this time. I just got so excited you have to see that fish it was like two and a half kilos it was so big and I brought it here and I was is this a trout is this a trout and I saw the eye <laughs> round you can see there is a pike it's an enormous very ugly and <laughs> a dangerous fish I had two, two fish now. I caught uh, with a. Uh, with a spinner. With a spinner, I caught uh, two graylings. It's not an, enough fish for me. I just want to see if I can get a pike just to get it on film. Uh, but uh, dinner is ready. I'm going to fry this and uh, just try 10 minutes more and head back for the camp to make uh, a fire. Okay, I have the pan here. I have uh, some butter. I'm going to uh, prepare this with uh, potato moss. I need to ration my food now because I'm running low. I'm going to use this. And I have uh, cleaned the fil nice looking filet with some little bit of caviar. Um, need to going to put that in the fry pan and then we're going to prepare some red mojo this is what I have here in case I get the pike I want to try that nice beagles fillets just for me and salt and pepper Then we wait. Sun, a little bit windy, fire, fresh fish. Yeah, baby. Rare. Need to keep it on the fire. 
bokstavelig talt on the fire. There we go. Dinner is ready. Yeah. Is there wrong? This fish do have a little bit of bones, spines. Okay. And some mojo. This is tomato sauce for the potatoes because I cannot uh, uh, swallow a potato. This is homemade fish sauce or mojo. The same from the green one, but it's red. This is mostly for fish. It says chili, um, paprika, garlic, olive oil. A little bit of red. Let's try this. Oh, this is better than a restaurant. <laughs> mm. Red mojo. Actually, this one my mother made for me. Thank you, mom. Tuck. Very good. Mmm, oh, this was way better than to cook it with rice alone. Mmm, mmm, ten of ten. <laughs> and you think I didn't want going to get more fish? <laughs> What a crazy, crazy day. Woke up, woke up to very cold, four degrees, rainy day, very windy at the top. I thought I was about to walk 15 kilometers, but it was absolutely impossible because of the weight, because of the mosquitoes because of the swamps so I had to turn around and from that weather came here yeah and it, well, it was some fish up there came here five kilometers find this place got two fish almost got the biggest fish I have almost ever caught no the biggest fish I have almost caught the pike and uh, and got to have a fire without the mosquitoes with the Sun this uh, place keeps uh, surprising me um, tomorrow I will probably if it's, uh, I need to recharge my batteries. Also, I need to uh, eat more fish, and also I need to wash my clothes. And uh, if it, if it is this kind of weather tomorrow, I will stay here. If not, we'll see. Probably move. Probably stay. I don't know, I I'm not sure if I'm going to set up my tent uh, under the tarp or beside there or another place. Uh, I need to just dry it a little bit in the sun because it's uh, a little bit get, uh, wet from um, to, uh, this morning. Well, I will manage to shower myself with some warm water. So, I'm Soap. 
Oh, fresh, fresh. New hair, nice. Nice and warm. And this is some colacao to warm me up. Ah, good night. Good morning, it's day seven, I spent a week here and I have a week left. I can already feel the exhaust from uh, being here. I moved my tent because of uh, my neck. I slept not very good the last day because of the rock. So I just uh, moved it just uh, it's uh, down below there. I'm going to prepare some bannock. And I am uh, have washed my things too. So I can prepare with uh, clean uh, kettles. Just waiting for the fire to, to be, to boil my water. You don't need boiled water, but I need coffee. Very windy today as well, but but it's sunny. I need I need a time to to recharge my my batteries. I'm running low on battery on the power bank, and it is needed for filming and GPS, phone, other things. Okay, so this is. Uh, pre-made bannock. I have already eaten eat it in one day and uh, it's been taking a lot of weight actually because I, I have too much of it. I'm going to use my um, this to put the water inside and bake it. This is a uh, very special ingredients with uh, nuts, uh, a lot of uh, goody goodies, I cannot remember exactly, but it's sweet and that's important. It's a little bit sweet. Had raisins, nuts, uh, frö, uh, different kind of flowers, two kinds. Uh, I think it has honey and cranberries as well. Those are the cranberries. So we're going to put water here and not my washing water but uh, boiling water. We're going to prepare a big junk bread of bannock. Here we go. Now we just have to use your hands. Ooh, it's very warm. Need to wait. 
<laughs> Very warm water. Okay, so now that we have the water, the boiling water, we just move it along. Normally I use my hands because I prepare it with cold weather, uh, water, but it's boiling because I want coffee. So I'm going to use this instead. And I will put a little bit more of the recipe on top and make like a big pancake. It's good to prepare on the plate you're going to eat it and or in the pan because then you know how much uh, you will eat and it stays like um, you don't make too much, you know. This is very good with uh, some uh, other kind of uh, things to have on your bread. I only have mackerel today, so we're going to prepare with mackerel. Tomato sauce and macro. Okay, I think I can now take it with my hands. It's a little bit warm. You really don't want to use your hands unless you have a lot of flour so it don't get sticky on you. That, that might last for one other day as well. Put flour on your hands as well. Okay, now that I have uh, butter on the pan, I put the bannock on top. And this is rest flour. And fry it. You could warm the pan, uh, perhaps better to do that. best fire for this because it's blowing so much try to put it on top there they will wait butter on top just to Have another one so of this so one for one week. Oh work. There we go. Look at this nice. Very good. Very happy with that. Perfect that the uh, plate fits the pan. Make it to scale. Think it's ready. This is with the mackerel. And uh, I'm going to eat just from here because the pan is full. The plate is full of uh, full of um, mm, it tastes like a very good sweet bread mm. I rather prefer this much more than um, oatmeal
very worth carrying this uh, this uh, flower flower around. Going to drink some coffee via Starbucks with some. Um, this is actually my own, uh, my wife and I's own protein bar. It's just a little bit molded up. Going to put that on the coffee as well. Okay, yesterday I kind of washed myself, but naked, <laughs> and uh, it was really nice actually. It kind of, kind of gave me motivation. Today I'm going to use my stuffing bag where I normally keep my food and put a little bit of uh, hand washing um, biotex for washing clothing. Uh, this is all the clothes I have wear in a week. Normally you don't have to use that. And it's a kind of good thing to be actually uh, dirty in the wild. Uh, but I have a week left, you know, and I have a fire going and I have washing uh, uh, things with me. And it's kind of the same thing at uh, washing yourself and having a fire it kind of motivates you up a little bit it's kind of nice to have some some clean clothing you don't need to do this but the sunny is is uh, having a nice day trip so why do don't do the laundry as well so just use all of my clothing on this not going to Take, going to take this as well, but uh, I kind of need the 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 down jacket uh, for not getting mosquito bites. I'm just putting in in here. Don't need to be too much. I'm uh, not boiling the water, but I'm having a little bit warm. Don't want to use uh, wool, perhaps I don't know. But my my trekking pants, my towel as well, my dirty underwear, the thing I've been having on the neck all the time, and my trekking socks as well as my uh, shorts. So I'm going to put the water here, and then I close it, and then. I tumble it and leave it to dry in the sun or in the fire. And uh, it's important to 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 not do this on um, a water because it's kind of a chemical. So you just uh, what you do with the water, either you put it on top of the fire when it's done, or you uh, just uh, throw it in the ground in the moss. Uh, aside the fire, for example, uh, and it's kind of more environment friendly that way. But uh, to be washing clothing in the wild is way more environmental than uh, to use the ec economic thing on your washing machine, especially on the synthetic stuff the synthetic stuff kind of ruins the wildlife especially fish so um, like i said before i'm not a 
Uh, very, uh, not the, the most uh, passionate, uh, environment friendly guy. I'm not Miljöparti de Grønne, so uh, environment party here in Norway, political party. I'm not that kind of person, but I like to I like to be taking care of the environment, especially when you are around, uh, because you normally see many people that. Uh, aren't that good so uh, try to be as environment friendly as possible is good for for the wildlife and the wild itself yep knock knock talk let's wash 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 Synthetic clothing dries fast. Wools take a little bit longer time, but uh, those Ulvang Super are very good. Socks. So, uh, really recommend them, like I said before. Please also dries very fast. That's synthetic polyester as well as the pants and the under armor. Under armor uh, t-shirt. Underwear. Polyester, also synthetic, dries very fast. What's worst is cotton. This is cotton. This is the bandana and it's uh, mosquito repellent. This will take longer time to dry. I like these uh, stuffing bags because uh, they are lightweight and uh, when I'm not doing hardcore pack raft, this is preferable to use. I have in several sizes of the same color. The smallest one is for my toilet paper. The, the six liter is for also ends. Uh, the other one is for clothing, equipment, and this is for food. Uh, probably use equipment on the 30 liter. And because I'm a good soldier, used to be a good soldier <laughs> I'm going to waterproof my my boots with some bees wax they are waterproof now but they just don't look right I like them to be as clean as possible and when you have the time to do that well it's good to actually Prepare them. Maybe glue them if you can. Probably do that as well. You shouldn't use glue on leather boots, but it's the only thing you have on fuel. These are um, um, Gore-Tex boots, but uh, I don't really treat them as Gore-Tex because i rather waterproof them instead and do the sock and the sole do the job that the Gore-Tex normally use. So I sh sh normally use sp spray Gore-Tex woods with the uh, uh, Gore-Tex spray. I do the um, beeswax instead, just like for the pants of your Vida Pros or Fjellreven uh, is the same kind of wax 
that's green wax this is more green beeswax it's a little bit easier to to put and when i'm finished with that i normally go over with uh, put on just a little bit beside the, f uh, the fire so it's kind of smelt or the sun best to keep it on the sun so it, so the wax gets kind of wet and then you go with the uh, um, this uh, clut and uh, you go over and probably repeat that I won't be wearing these shoes no more because I'm going to pack craft, but uh, you never know. This is how they should lo uh, look like when you're using the Naturals Beast Wax and just leave it to dry uh, in the sun. So see the results uh, when they are uh, warm. been a week in the well then you know you miss your family you know I have to can be uh, I'm, I'm very thankful f for uh, my family that have been uh, uh, letting me having this time um, in the well uh, taking care of the kids, uh, the mo the rest of the moving house. I left. Uh, I I cleaned the house white, but my wife need to do the overtaking and um, perhaps some paperwork as well. Moving into the new house and uh, packing. Oliver has been taking care of my parents and my wife is taking care of the little one right now but I think uh, Oliver will be um, with my wife again this week and yeah she's strong she's a strong wife very helpful very I'm very lucky to have her. I've been carrying a thing. I've been uh, waiting uh, a week to actually open it that uh, my wife uh, gave it to me so I can have for the expedition. I don't know what it is, so uh, it is a week left, so let's try to open it. Kind of heavy. I don't know what it is. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jägermeister, a big bottle. <laughs> I don't have any beer. I didn't uh, manage to get to the Vimnopole to buy any bus. <laughs> so. <laughs> that was uh, really nice. I have a pack of uh, tiggies, uh, chewing gum, uh, birds bees for my lips, <laughs> airdrops. Well, I did have with them with me. Now I have many more. <laughs> Perhaps I should uh, uh, bring this. And this is the little book of berries. Nice. Very cool. It's in plastic as well, so it is uh yeah with some tox toxic berries to stay away. There's been some here that I haven't seen before, so perhaps I should look for them again and see if I can make it. Wow, very cool. Didn't have this one. Thank you so much, wife. Really happy for the the gift, especially this one. 
and um, miss you, love you. Tusen tack Oliver if you watching or little Alma. Tusen tack. Papa miss you guys. Um, tusen tack för att jag får lov till att vara här. And also my parents for and um, their parents for uh, taking care of my wife and the kids when I'm not at home. Okay. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. Man, <laughs> was good. <laughs> Should be careful with Jägermeister now because they go straight to the head. And I've been uh, <laughs> on thin ice with the, the Jägermeister before, so... Don't drink and trek. Don't drink and pack craft, just sit down and enjoy. Jägermeister, it's good. When it's cold, it's good. I don't know, do you taste Farnet Veranka? Farnet is really bitter, more bitter than this. This is quite sweet. And uh, I don't like Farnet. It's the total the opposite, it's not sweet, it's more bitter, it's very, very strong. Ah, one more sip and then spare for the other days. Nice! Now it's more. This is how it looked like now, after a little bit. It's easier to... Um, Fix your shoes this way now. It must be a pike. It must be a pike. This I have never seen. Something jumping that quickly from my water than this one. And it's huge. It's there. Oh my god, it's huge. I don't just want to, to let it uh, be tired. <laughs> Man, it's huge. This is the biggest pike. <laughs> Probably with my two lures inside. It's huge! Oh my god! Look at that beast, man! I hope I don't lose it. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's bring it up. Yes! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> you took out my brush. That is the biggest fish I have ever caught. And a pike. He ate my, two of my spinners. And my fortum. I may get them back now. Woo. <sighs> oh! Can't wait to see how big it is. Must be 
two kilos perhaps. I don't know. I'm sweating like a pig man. Oh Okay, let's see. 81 T's. I'm going to put my my gloves on. Just in case it after lives. Oh fi fun, that was okay. That was really fun. Let's haul up the trophy. Let's measure this uh, beast with 81 teeth. <laughs> oh. It's too big. Oh, damn. Steak. Oh, crap. These mosquitoes are even worse predators. Man, it's too... There we go. Four kilos? Four kilos? Four kilos? <laughs> oh, four point one point two kilos. Man, that's nine point one LBS. Uh, it's actually a little bit more. It's four point three kilos. Oh. It's after leaves, man. Nine LBS. Wow. Man, it was heavy. Four kilos. Oh, I think it's more than my daughter. This beast. Okay. What is going to be interesting now is to see the anatomy of this pike. Look at those these. Oh man, they're very very sharp. 81 teeth. Cannot see my spinner now, but it's it's there. Man, so big. Look at this fish. I've never prepared a pike before, but I I think I need to cut the head. <laughs> Man, are you kidding me? Wow. Yeah, this needs to go, go away. Look at those teeth. I'm afraid it may bite me. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm excited. This is the first big pike I got. And uh, what a amazing. This is the first time I caught grayling or hide and pike. And this is the biggest fish I have ever caught. 4.3 kilos. Okay, let's find my spinners. <laughs> Ulemati, I need I need you to take Ulemati is my friend, he's a doctor. Maybe he can, can do a little bit surgery. I need to dig inside this to get my spinners. Let's go on. Have the gloves on. So no. <laughs> I'm just going to use the leather man. Uh, maybe maybe use for the other the other um, the other um, bushcraft knife let's start like you always do with fish we take the guts off and let's see what this guy eats probably about everything you find that's because he's so big man Kids, you shouldn't wash wash this. 
It's moving. My God. Okay, respect to you, fish. Sorry. But I try to... I'm very, very glad, um, happy with you sacrificing three of my spinners to get you was easy. So... <laughs> Shit, man. Crazy. It's crazy. Oh, I may have half. Wow. Wish I was a fisherman now. Professional one. No, that's poor fisherman. I'm going to prepare some of this now. I leave some for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to fry fry them with potato moss again, and let's see if the pike tastes good or not. <laughs> May need to cut. This is the heart. I go, I'm going to eat the heart. <laughs> And uh, on the eye, I have the eye as well. Here's the eye. <laughs> I'm going to try to eat those first. And, um, and the filet. For the heart, the eye. So. Put some filet there. A big one there. And I need to wait for that one. Perhaps I could make it to three. This is one filet, one side. Like I said, there may be more. There is uh, much more there as well. has disintegrated into the fire it was a little bit too warm let's try it. Let's see how this eats now how they taste <sighs> okay Wow! <coughs> ah! Mmm! Not bad! Not bad at all! I even like it even more than uh, the grayling, the hide. Let's try the eye. Mmm, mm, very good, very good. I saw the skull rund, but the meat, very nice. Wow! <laughs> How come people don't like this? Mm -hmm. Oh. It tastes really, really good. <laughs> oh, 
How come people don't like pike? Hmm? I love it. <laughs> hmm? It tastes really good. Oh, nice. It's, it's not dry at all. It has a very good aftertaste. Mm. The tomato is for the potato because I can't swallow. I don't know why. Ah, nice. Very good. Really like in the pike. Mm. <laughs> nice. But I'm going to try with some mojo as well because it enhances the taste. Let's see how it is a fish also. Oops. Man, it was good. How come people don't like pike? I don't know that. <laughs> Mm. Oh, nice. Yeah. People don't like the taste and they said they have too much bones. Well, the bones are easy to see here because it's so big, so no problem there either. Mmm. Wow, this was good, very good. 10 of 10. <laughs> Actually, 11 of 10. One of the best fishes I have ever tasted, actually. Very good. And with some mojo even better. I need to celebrate that. For sure. My first pike. My first... So big fish. <laughs> And a very nice catch. So, coffee and a little something to cheers. Oops, over half. Well. Oh, yes. Nice. Moment like this. Hopefully last. And now I am to tell the story. That pike is not so bad. <laughs> it is scary. It is a little bit hassle to uh, schlöje. That kind of fish. This is big. I'll prepare it and it's good. Scary with 81 teeth, I believe it has. I didn't find my spinner by the way. I I, I was sure I saw the inside but <laughs> it wasn't so it has to be another pike. Well it cost me two spinners. And that's a good exchange, very good exchange. 